Hey everyone, it's Nicole from KenHub and welcome to our tutorial on the histology of neurons. In this video, we'll be looking at neurons at a microscopic level and identifying the tiny components that make up these cells. Firstly, what is a neuron? A neuron, or a nerve cell, is a specialised cell that conveys electrochemical pulses throughout the body. They can carry information in one of two directions. Efferent neurons carry information from the brain to the tissue it's communicating with. This could be, for example, to skeletal muscle to stimulate movement. In contrast, afferent neurons carry information from various parts of the body to the brain. This feature allows you, for example, to feel the pain of a burn. Neurons are quite diverse, having a wide variety of branching patterns and differences in size. Some neurons are long, wide and myelinated, while others are short, narrow and unmyelinated. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the structures that make up a neuron that are visible in histological slides, as well as different types of neurons based on shape. Specifically, we'll cover the main parts of neurons, such as cell body, dendrites and axons, and even dive into a bit more detail looking at structures within the cell bodies themselves, such as the nucleus and nissel bodies. We'll also add a bit of detail into the axons and look at identifying myelinated and unmyelinated axons. Then we'll take a look at the different types of neurons, including multipolar, bipolar, unipolar and pseudo-unipolar neurons. Finally, we'll have a look at a clinical condition and how it shows up on histological slides of nervous tissue. Let's get started. Neurons are made up of three parts, a cell body, multiple dendrites, and a single axon. The dendrites receive information, while the axon transfers information to other neurons. Let's start with the cell body. The cell body, which is sometimes referred to as the perikaryon or soma, houses the nucleus and other organelles within its cytoplasmic membrane. In this image, we can see the cell body highlighted in green. To identify them in histological slides, we can look for the structure that is dilated in shape, so larger and usually rounder than the projections. Here's another example of a cell body in this image. Another way to identify the cell body is by identifying the nucleus within it. This is the structure we can now see highlighted in green on the left. In this stain, it appears darker than other structures in the cell body. It will be spherical and the larger structure within the cell body. The nuclei are unusually large in neurons. As in all cells, the nucleus houses DNA. On the left, the many small granular structures we can see highlighted in the cell body of this neuron are called nissel bodies. Nissel bodies are granular collections of rough endoplasmic reticulum and free ribosomes and can be found throughout the cell body. Since these structures contribute to protein synthesis, this shows that neurons have a high synthetic activity. Depending on the activity of the neuron, the number of nissel bodies will vary. The soma, or cell body, has numerous cytoplasmic projections branching from its surface. We can see two in this image highlighted in green on the right. These are dendrites. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.